life we are talking about not in vain that is our charge for this morning not in vain you will not do things in vain your prayers are not in vain we are going forward we are charged up not in vain isaiah chapter 65 hallelujah isaiah chapter 65 Verse 21 is where we are taking it from. The Lord says, you shall not build houses in vain. You shall not inhabit and inhabit them, but you shall build houses, but inhabit them. So you will not build houses that you will not inhabit rather. And they shall plant vineyards and eat the fruit of them. So you will eat the fruits of your works. You will eat the fruits of what you put your hand to. Your prayers will be answered. Your work shall be recognized. Verse 22 says, they shall not build and another inhabit. They shall not build and another inhabit so you are not going to create things you are not going to build things that other people will enjoy so the lord says he will satisfy you early he will satisfy you in your season in your generation in your time hallelujah there are prayers where we are praying for generations to come there are prayers with other people will benefit from but today we are focusing our prayers and say lord let my prayers not be in vain let what i am working for let what i've worked for let what my parents have worked for let me benefit it now let me enjoy it while it is time now. Let me not wait for rapture to enjoy heaven, but let me enjoy heaven on earth as it is now. Amen. Make sure you are typing in that comment section, not in vain. I need this to sink in into your spirit, man, as well. So we go on and it says, uh, they shall not build and another inhabit. They shall not plant and another eat. Hallelujah. For as the days of a tree are the days of my people and mine elect shall enjoy the work of their hands. Hallelujah. My elect, the people that I have chosen, the people that I've set aside for me, they will enjoy the works of their hands. Hallelujah. There's 23 when I'm tracking says they shall not labor in vain. You will not labor in vain. Tell yourself that right now. I will not labor in vain. They shall not labor in vain. They shall not labor in vain. I fortune shall not labor in vain. Kiwewa, you will not labor in vain. Shala, you will not in labor in vain. Ovi, you will not labor in vain. Not in vain. Not on my watch. Not in vain. Amen, somebody. So he says you will not labor in vain nor bring forth for trouble so trouble cannot be the results of your life amen somebody for they are the seed of the blessed of the lord and their offspring with them and it shall come to pass that before they call i will answer and while they are still yet speaking i will hear hallelujah somebody says he is hearing us this morning not in vain so we are not praying in vain we are not talking in vain we are not teaching in vain we are not preaching in vain we don't come before god we refuse to do things in vain amen somebody we refuse to do things and other people inherit from us just like that and eat of our sweat we refuse for the strange woman to take away our spouses or the strange men to take away from our spouses you will not build a marriage and somebody else inherits not in vain tell your neighbor not in vain so the lord says that even your children will benefit your offspring will benefit with you hallelujah verse 24 says it shall come to pass before they call that i will answer so before you even woke up this morning god knew that you are coming to call on him on this altar of protocol breaking prayers and he says i will answer while they are yet speaking i will hear hallelujah he says and they shall build houses and inhabit them I will build houses and I will inhabit them. My efforts shall not be in vain. I will see the rewards of the Lord in my lifetime, in my season, in my generation, in the name of Jesus. So this morning, Lord, we have come to appreciate you and to, to, to say to you, Lord, we want to know you more. Lord, we want to understand you more. Lord, we have come to say that we are grateful because, Lord, you are not the one that runs or wills, but you show mercy, Lord. You don't run away from us. You don't forsake us. You are showing us mercy in the name of Jesus christ the lord is saying this morning he is giving us the power to build as we launch out into the new week he, the lord is saying he is giving you the power to build uh, and he will not disappoint you he will you will not labor in vain in the mighty name of jesus christ every foundation that is in our lives will be based from christ hallelujah we uproot anything that is not based from god we uproot anything that is not coming from god whatever we have done whatever we have built we will benefit therefore in the 
name of Jesus Christ. If that thing that has been built is not under the mandate of Christ, our efforts will not be in vain. That thing will be destroyed. Anything that the Lord, the, 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 the Lord has not planted shall be uprooted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you, Lord, that even our parents will see the goodness of the Lord in our lifetime. We will work for our parents and they will see the benefits. Hallelujah. Isn't that a joyful thing whenever you are working as a child of God that your parents also benefit, your children benefit, everybody around you benefits, all your associations benefit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Our parents will see the goodness of our Lord. They will see the goodness of the Lord in our lifetime. They will see the fruits that they have given birth. They will not say their stomachs are, or their wombs are rotten in the name of Jesus Christ. And we will see the goodness of the Lord in our lifetime. Our children will benefit for us from us in our lifetime and beyond. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you will inhabit your home in 2023. These 31 days of grace and favor are releasing the unction and the anointing for you to buy your own house in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will position you to inhabit your own home. The Lord will position you not to be homeless anymore in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This morning you are receiving the power to plant. You are receiving the, pro the power to grow, the power to be fruitful. You will multiply and you will inhabit the earth. You will replenish. You will just be oozing, overflow. Hallelujah. You have the power to build. Your efforts will not be in vain. Tell your neighbor, not in vain. Hallelujah not in vain. The Lord will give you the grace to inhabit your house. The Lord will give you the grace to, to enjoy the proceeds of your investment. Any investment that you have put your money to will flourish. Any investment you have put your money to will flourish in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It's coming in in abundance. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, there is no way your investments will just come and they tell you that everything has been in vain. No, not in vain. Not in vain. Anything that I put my, my head to, my money to, my resources to will flourish that thing must be productive it must be fruitful in the name of jesus Give us the grace to eat out of the proceeds of our investment in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we bind every single demon and their representative that is holding our, our proceeds to our investment. Who is holding my proceeds? Who is holding my house? This week, as I go into this week, I charge this week and I say nothing I do will be in vain. Not in vain in the name of Jesus Christ. No man will take the place of what you have ordained for us, oh God. Whatever you have ordained for me, come on, pray along with me. Whatever you have have ordained for me, Lord. No man, no spirit can take away that thing from me in the name of Jesus Christ. I will plant and I will be relevant. Make sure you are praying along with me. As you are saying, not in vain, you say, Lord, I will plant and I will reap. I will plant and I will reap. I will not plant in vain. I will discover relevance in my life. In this week, as I charge this week and I say, not in vain, I will not be laboring in vain. I will be relevant anywhere I go. Anything I do, my proposals are relevant. My proposals are receiving recognition in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I will not be useless in the kingdom of God. If I cannot be useless in the kingdom of God, you can never be useless in the kingdom of God. Not in vain. Hallelujah. The grace to live a fulfilled life. Uh, the Lord is giving you to that this morning. The Lord is giving you the grace to live a fulfilled life. Uh, in this day 29, oh God, uh, we are receiving the grace to live a fulfilled life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, the days of a tree are Kala Makodi our Lord, I and the ones you have given me will fulfill our days. I and the ones you have given me will fulfill our days. We are like trees planted by the rivers of the living water. We are evergreen, ever flourishing. We are not stopping. We are unstoppable. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are relevant, not in vain. Somebody type it, not in vain. Don't you, aren't you excited that you came to meet a Lord that says nothing you do is not in vain? In the name of Jesus Christ, he says, I'm not a God of chance, but I'm a God of purpose. The God of purpose is redirecting you. The God of purpose is directing you. Your purpose and your destiny is being directed by the God of purpose in the name of Jesus Christ. He says, I'm not a God of chance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your days shall not be in waste. In this week, as we launch out, I declare and I decree, my days shall not be in waste in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will cause you to enjoy your marriage. The Lord will cause you to enjoy your work. This week, in the name of Jesus Christ, you are 
enjoying all round, all round joy. Everything is joy. Your children shall bring joy to you. Your children shall not bring tears to you. I count you. They are coming out of, of, of whatever form of addiction. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you are receiving the power to enjoy your purpose in God's given plans. Whatever the plans of God are, you are going to enjoy that thing in the name of Jesus Christ. You are receiving power to enjoy your ministry in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your calling is certain and your calling is sure in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord says in verse 23, you will not labor in vain, nor bring forth for trouble. That means trouble is far from you this week. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, he says, you are the blessed of the Lord. I have elected you. You are the seed. You are my seed. Therefore, you will flourish and you bear fruit of what I am and who I am as God in the name of Jesus Christ. And it shall come to pass that before you even call me, while you are still thinking of that thought, I've already blessed it and I've already granted it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Somebody type in that comment section, not in vain. The Lord says you will not labor in vain because I am the mighty God and you believe in me and you are calling on the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every single form, every single symptom, every single sight of trouble, you are saying, Jesus, Jesus, I will not labor in vain. The results will begin to show up. Your efforts will begin to show results. Results will begin to show forth your efforts. Results, we call forth results in this week, oh God. Every sweat that I break will matter positively to your glory in the name of Jesus. Father, as I speak this morning, as I decree and as I declare, as I prophesy, every sweat that I break in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I declare and I decree, Lord, results will begin to show forth. Results will begin to show forth for every single person person under the sound of my voice. In the name of Jesus Christ, every sweat shall not be in vain. You did not sweat in vain. In the name of Jesus Christ, I and those that you have given me will be relevant for the rest of our years, will be relevant for the rest of this month of May. You will be relevant for this month, for the year of 2023 and beyond. In the name of Jesus Christ, if the Lord has given you that person, that person will be relevant. If it is your spouse, you guys are relevant. Your children are relevant. Your business is relevant. Your ministry is relevant. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we command we will not labor in vain not in vain not this week not beyond this week in the name of Jesus Christ vanity shall not be your portion I said vanity shall not be your portion Musu welcome to the family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Maureen welcome to the, the, the family in the name of Jesus Christ you will not labor in vain vanity is not your portion somebody declare it vanity is not my portion Emma in the name of Jesus Christ. We will be relevant in this week and beyond. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever place God has positioned for us, God, whatever position you have assigned for us, will not be taken away by another. Father, whoever is sitting in the position that you have called us, whoever is sitting in the place that you have set aside for us, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we disposition them, we remove them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we are taking our rightful place in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The works of our hands will not bring us pain in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we decree and declare into this week that whatever work that we will do, it will not bring us to pain. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, it will not backfire anywhere we have made mistakes, oh God. Father, cover it with the blood of Jesus Christ. We cover it with the blood of Jesus Christ. Error is removed in the name of Jesus Christ. The glory of the Lord will show forth, hallelujah. The glory of the Lord will show forth in everything that we will do in this week in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, thank you for your blessings. Your blessings will not depart from our lives. In this week, we decree our your blessings will not depart from your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Shamila, the blessings of the Lord will not de depart from your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Anna, the blessings of the Lord will not depart from your ministry in the name of Jesus Christ. The blessings of the Lord will not depart from your business. The blessings of the Lord will not depart from your family. The blessings of the Lord will not depart from your assignment in your life. You will achieve destiny. Your destiny will not fail. Your destiny must not fail in the name of Jesus Christ. I see the Lord confirming again. He says the blessings of the Lord will not depart from your offspring in the name of Jesus Christ. The blessings of the Lord shall be seen to manifest in your family, in your offspring, in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that the Lord has promised you will come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. All the plans that God has had for you, they will manifest in the 
mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are receiving the grace in all that matters. You are receiving the grace to call in all that matters. Oh, Lord, I thank you, Lord, that we can call upon you. And before we even type, pick up that call, oh God, that you have already answered in the name of Jesus Christ, we receive the power to answer prayers. You are the God that answers prayers. You are the God that answers by fire. That fire consumes everything that you have not planted. That fire consumes everything that is not of you in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody shout in the comment section, not in vain, not in vain. The Lord is hearing your cries this morning. Oh Lord, grant us rest this morning. Grant us complete rest in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Grant us rest, oh God. Lord, we receive the grace to receive a new thing. A new thing is happening this month in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. We see, we, we, we send forth uh, that seed into this week. Uh, we are receiving new things, oh God. New things around, all around, hallelujah. We are not living this week to chance. Uh, we are not living this month to chance. Uh, we are receiving the power and we are sending forth the power we are with our words, Lord. Our words will produce grace. Uh, our words will produce glory. As we pray in this week, in this morning, oh God, in this week, this is a power week. This is a grace week. This is a glory week. Uh, this is a not in vain week. This is a not in vain week, Lord. Lord, we are taking charge of this morning. We are commanding the morning and we are commanding this week in the name of Jesus Christ. Every single day of this week will deliver what we have prayed for in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we are praying intelligently every single day of this week and the rest of this month in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, our prayers are strategic. We don't miss the mark. We pray according to your will and it comes to pass in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, we thank you. Father, we come acknowledging that we need your help. Without you, we know that we do we don't have the intention intervention that we need in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you yet for another week. Thank you, Lord, that you woke us up this morning. Thank you, Lord, that we are transitioning from the month of May to month of June in, in, in style, intelligently, in, in power, in dynamite. You are going to just be a dynamite pulling through, hallelujah, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you, Lord. We pray and we sanctify this week, oh Lord. Every single day of this week is sanctified. Oh, it's sanctified in the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus. The Lord will order your steps this week. The Lord will order your steps this week. All through the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you are ordered. Your steps are ordered by the Lord. Your steps are ordered by the Lord. And the Lord says that you will move in the paths of peace. Everything that you will do, wherever you step, it is the path of peace. It is the path of righteousness. It is the path of righteousness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare and I decree that the sun will shine for your good this week. The sun will shine for your good this week. The moon shall shine for your good this week. The earth shall respond. Every element of nature shall respond for your good this week. In the name of Jesus Christ, the rain will fall for your sake. The rain will fall in pleasant places for your sake. This is a good week for you. This is a good month for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the forces of the day, the forces of the night will work to favor you this week. In the forces of the day, the forces of the night will work to favor you the whole of the month of May and into June and beyond. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, somebody shout, the Lord is favoring me on all sides, on every single angle. I'm being favored in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I decree and I declare that no weapon fashioned against us shall prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Kaliyama Sonda, I decree and I declare that the heavens are open unto us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The heavens are open unto us and they are releasing goodness, mercy. The heavens are open unto you and they are releasing peace. The heavens are open unto you. They are releasing glory for you. The heavens are open unto you and they are releasing favor unmerited, unlimited, overflowing over abundance favor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I declare and I decree that everybody who's at the sound of my voice, we are receiving safety. We are receiving security. We are receiving angelic protection all around this week. None of us shall die. None of our family members shall die in the name of Jesus Christ. All around protection for you. All around security for you. All around angelic protection let your angels be active. Let your ministering angels continue to do what they need to do in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we declare protection in the daytime, in the nighttime. Lord, even as we sleep, oh God, we are protected. Our dreams are even protected. Nobody will come and inhibit our dreams and do as they please. We come against the spirit of the witches, the wizards, everything. Lord, wherever they are trying to try us down, Lord, we command the Holy Spirit to send that fire of the Holy Ghost right now. They are catching fire right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare we are protected. In 
the name of Jesus, somebody shout, not in vain, not in vain, not in vain. I declare you are protected in the name of Jesus. I declare you are safe in the day. You will not get into car accidents in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord shall preserve your life. Whatever danger the enemy had pro had positioned for you, you will not die in that accident. You will not the Holy Spirit will hold you back. You will not come into things that will birth forth trouble. That is what the prophetic word said this morning. You will not birth forth trouble in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. Lord, uh, Father, as we uh, launch out into this new week, uh, anoint us afresh, O oh God. Ah, uh, Kariyama Sunda, fill us afresh uh, with your anointing, O oh God. A fresh oil upon everyone's head in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we receive uh, all our needs are met. We thank you, Lord, that all our needs, our spiritual needs are met. I command every material need to be met in the name of Jesus Christ. I command every financial need to be met in the name of Jesus Christ. You are receiving the fullness of the needs. Your needs are met in full full, in full, in full, paid in full. The whole week, the, it paid in full. Materially, spiritually, physically, financially, you are receiving in full. You are receiving the fullness of God. You will not beg. You will not borrow. In the name of Jesus Christ, in this week, I declare that you are moving with the sufficiency of God. That is a sufficiency that does not lack. That is a sufficiency that is beyond. You are positioned above. You are receiving a fresh anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. You are receiving a fresh anointing that will help you manifest the glory that God has put inside of you. The Lord's glory will be seen. The Lord shall be exalted in the testimonies that you carry in this week. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every blessing that heaven has for you in this week and beyond is being released right now. Receive it now. I wish you could type a believing amen. Vicky, are you seeing? You are receiving the fullness of the glory of God. Not in vain. Your efforts are not in vain. Your work is not in vain. Your prayer is not in vain. Your declarations are not in vain. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I declare that I am led by the Spirit of God this month. I am led by the Spirit of God this month. I am positioned with fullness of God. I am positioned with the fullness of God. Everything in me is overflowing goodness and mercy. Everything in me is full overflowing positivity. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare, Lord, that the lines are fallen unto us in pleasant places. We have a goodly heritage and that goodly heritage is being seen all around in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare that it shall be well with you in this week. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, it shall be well with your endeavors. It shall be well with your work endeavors. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I declare and I decree that the glory of God will bring the salvation and the deliverance that you need. Whatever it is, your family members, whatever they're sick of right now, receive the healing right now. The healing anointing is sufficient for you in this week as you are laying hands on them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you are contacting the anointing and the grace for healing. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are going to release that healing on everybody that is sick in your family. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I command healings to happen all around. Let the God the balm of Gilead is happening for you right now and your associations in the name of Jesus Christ. Deliverance is happening right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As you type that amen louder, as you shout that amen well, you know that you are receiving all round goodness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You, the grace of God, the glory of God will appear in everything that you do. I pray and declare that because the Lord is your shepherd, you shall not want for any new thing in this week and beyond. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that because you are the heir of salvation angels are ministering to you every single day of this week in that in this new month that we are going to step into in june as well in the name of jesus christ it is because you are the blessed of the lord it is because you are the elect of the lord you are qualified to receive this blessing that says not in vain not in vain father i thank you lord that you are bringing us into favor with everyone that we will come into contact with in this week and beyond in the name of jesus christ i thank you lord that we are blessed and we are going out we are blessed in our coming in we are blessed. The mountains and the hills will break into singing before us in the name of Jesus Christ. The trees will of the field shall clap their hands for us. I said the trees of the field shall clap hands for you. Not in vain. Everybody is celebrating you in the name of Jesus Christ. Even those that are celebrating you secretly or ce uh, celebrating you falsely. Father, they catch fire and die. The fact remains that they will clap hands for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we decree that we will not labor in vain in this 
new week, somebody not in vain, not in vain, in the name of Jesus Christ, you will do everything and everything that you touch will be blessed. You will multiply. I see increase coming to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Congratulations to you. Increase is coming your way in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything you do, everything you touch, I see increase. I see multiplication. I see prosperity. Chiku. Kaliyama sonda. Chidi. Kaliyama sonda. Diyama kerebe soto. Lebo lea. Increase for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I see growth. I see profit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Increase. Profit is coming to you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Those of you on Facebook. Increase is coming to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every door that you will knock on this week and beyond. Lord, it is opening in the name of Jesus Christ. Every good door. Open. We command you to open in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Increase is coming to you. You will recognize opportunities. You will not miss them. You will appropriate your opportunities and you will fly higher. You will not miss it. You will not miss the timing in the name of Jesus Christ. This week and beyond, the Lord is making you a vessel of praise. This week and beyond, the Lord is making you a vessel unto glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Use me, Lord. Use us, Lord, to bring glory to your name. Use us, Lord, to bring glory and to take out your message of love to, to spread the gospel in the name of Jesus Christ. Anybody that we come into contact with this week and beyond, we will spread the love of God. We will spread the gospel of God. Any opportunity that we get in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we declare that you are immune from every single form of disease in the name of Jesus Christ. I decreed and I declare it. This week, you will not contact any disease. This month and beyond, you will not contact any disease. You are immune. Receive the autoimmune kalabasuta. Mm. You are totally immune from any form of illness, disease, sickness whatsoever, any stress whatsoever. You are immune from depression. You are immune from any form of mental health, physical health, health issues in the name of Jesus Christ. You are immune from high blood pressure. You are immune from sugar diabetes in the name of Jesus Christ. You are immune from pickles. You are immune from any form of trouble that might want to trouble your health. Whoever is troubling your trouble will be troubled by your God that troubles your trouble in the name of Jesus Christ. You are immune from every disease that ravishes that ravages in the world whatever is killing others will not kill you it is not your portion somebody type not in vain i decree this week that you will declare kalia masonda every one of your declarations against the power of hell those power of hell will not prevail against you in the mighty name of jesus christ the lord is granting you favor beyond and beyond in the name of jesus christ everything that you do this week shall be blessed and shall be favored in the name of jesus christ receive your share of blessings of heaven in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will not miss it. You will not lose it in the name of Jesus Christ. The Father God, my Father, my Father, fill our lives. Lord, Father God, fill our lives with glory. Receive the glory of God, not in vain. You are receiving the glory of God. He cannot put and inject that glory and it is in vain. It is not in vain. God, your investment in me is not in vain. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, help us to keep our, our thoughts pure. Help us to keep our, our minds positive throughout the week and beyond. In the name of Jesus Christ. We will reflect his life. We will reflect his beauty. We will reflect his glory in the name of Jesus Christ. We will reflect the holiness of God beyond in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, help us to make the most of our time. Let us not be in meetings that are wasting our time that will not bear any fruit in this week and beyond in the name of Jesus Christ. We will not be wasting our time. Lord, help us to redeem the time. Help us to be willing and obedient. We declare and we decree that, Lord, as we have purpose in our hearts to be willing and obedient, we will eat the fruit of the land. We will eat the goodness of the land. The land will respond to us. Every one of our investments. Somebody say, not in vain. Not in vain. Not in vain. Facebook, are we still breathing together? Not in vain. The new thing is happening this morning. Somebody is receiving the newness of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we have the conviction we are receiving the newness of things in the name of Jesus. Tell your neighbor, new things are coming to me. New things are coming to me. There is a point where we pray for restoration and God gives us what we lost. But there is a point when God adds, he adds new things. So he adds an extra blessing, extra new things. Lord, we receive new things. Nothing is too difficult for the Lord. In the name of Jesus, I will do a new thing. I will do a new thing. Do you not see it? Oh, not in 
in vain, not in vain, not in vain. The sacrifices of your fathers, the sacrifices of your mothers, your own sacrifices, not in vain. New things are coming to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Not in vain, not in vain, not in vain, not in vain. The Lord says, I will not fail you. 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 Somebody keep on declaring it, not in vain. Father, we thank you. We are protected in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are sitting on the throne of grace. We are sitting on the throne of favor in the name of Jesus Christ. Divine favor is working for us. We are receiving every single form of favor. Nothing will frustrate us in this week. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we receive favor. Our angels go and execute our favor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive the anointing for excellence right now. Anointing for excellence fall upon us right now. Fall upon us right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare and I decree that you are receiving the oil of gladness right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The angel of the living God will usher you in the name of Jesus Christ into favor. It will usher you into your destiny with favor. You are moving in favorably. This is our 31 days of grace and favor. Day 29, I am going into extra gear. Now you are on gear five. We are going into gear six and seven and beyond. I don't know what gear you need to be on, but there is two days left after today. Make sure you are accelerating. Make sure you are putting your foot flat on that accelerator in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the favor that God is releasing this morning frustrate the plans of the enemy in Jesus' mighty name. Let the grace of God take over and take you to the land that is overflowing with milk and honey in the name of Jesus Christ. Every altar of poverty is crushed in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare and I decree as I close that every altar of poverty, every altar of poverty that is coming from your birthplace, that is coming or working against you and uh, working against your prosperity, right now it burns to ashes. We burn every single altar of poverty. Right now it burns to ashes. Burn that altar. Burn that altar of poverty. Poverty is not your portion in the name of Jesus. Every satanic priest that is trying to minister against your post prosperity, right now they catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare that you are receiving strength you are receiving strength. You are receiving strength. You are receiving power to overcome any environmental altar that is trying to speak against you in the name of Jesus Christ. Every environmental altar that is trying to speak against your, your crown, your glory on your head, right now it catches fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we came this morning to raise an altar of continuous prosperity upon our destiny in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we declare and we decree that every stronghold of mental or spiritual poverty in our life is uprooted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every stronghold of poverty it is being uprooted right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is creating opportunities for us. The Lord is creating opportunities for your prosperity in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Favor all around. Favor in front of you. Favor from the north, the east, the west, and the south. Favor all around. Everybody who you come into contact with will go out of their way to want to favor you in the name of Jesus Christ. Every demonic activity is arrested. This is a blessed week. Not in vain. Somebody declare it right now. Not in vain. I will testify. I will testify not in vain. I will testify not in vain. I will testify not in vain, not in vain. The angels are at work this morning. Father, we thank you for this morning. We thank you for this powerful, powerful meeting, oh God. We thank you, Lord, that on this protocol breaking uh, prayers uh, altar, Lord, that we have exchanged whatever it is that we did not do good last week, Lord, that we will do better and excellently beyond. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, everybody who has risen this morning, by reason of your rising and for you, you even clicking and following or even joining this broadcast in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive the anointing that your efforts will not be in vain. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Kalaba soto kodiaba rakota kadiaba sekete kiriaba roshi kondariaba sonda. Not in vain. Dollar, not in vain. The Lord will remember you. Not in vain. Your efforts shall not be in vain. Morepa, Laura, Governor, not in vain. In the name of Jesus Christ. Olive, not in vain. Royal priesthood, not in vain. Bushenduvo, not in vain. Akusika welcome. Pindile, not in vain. Not in vain. You will not labor in vain this week. This is your week. This is a grace week. Not in vain. BMW3, not in vain. DB19, not in vain. Not in vain. Emma, it shall not be in vain. You will testify. You will testify. Jimmy Pora, you will testify. It shall not be in vain. Petsy, not in vain. Your efforts are not in vain. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, all occasions that you will go to, you will be favored. Everything that you have prayed for, your request, your prayer request, 
request, your declarations and your decrees, they are not in vain. In yeah, Kalaba Sokoti, I missed that point. Somebody said, I see yourself in executive places. Aha, uh -huh. go ahead. You are seeing yourself in high places. Ranita, not in vain. The Lord is, is granting you favor for your efforts in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mampanda, not in vain. Let me check the people on Facebook quickly. Bimbai, not in vain. It shall not be in vain. Your efforts shall not be in vain. Everybody on Facebook, it shall not be in vain. Whatever you start, you will finish. Whatever you start will finish. You will flourish in everything that you are doing. The Lord is giving you a new song. The Lord is giving you new things. He's adding to the restoration. You are moving forward in the name of Jesus Christ. Megan, it shall not be in vain. Receive an anointing for your efforts will not be in vain. Lesicho, you, you, you will not be in vain in Jesus' mighty name. Gundo, it's not in vain. Don't be not in vain. You will testify. Harriet, you will testify. Sharon, you will testify in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are receiving the bountiful harvest. Receive a bountiful harvest all around in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatever you have declared, you are creating. Nothing happens until you make it happen with your mouth. As you are declaring it, it shall come to pass. Important, welcome, not in vain. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you are receiving a bounty. Your work shall not be in vain. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will inherit the goodness of the Lord. Lines are falling unto you in heavenly places. Merita, not in vain. In Jesus' mighty name, the Lord is helping you receive the help of God. Get, begin to thank God that he has given you another day. He has given to you another week. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Lord, that you woke us up this morning. Thank you, Lord, that as we charge into this week, we know that our efforts are guaranteed to bring forth the results. Thank you, Lord, Lord, that the day has dawned for our good. The day has dawned for your good. The day has dawned for your good. It's for your good. Do not doubt yourself. Do not doubt anything that you will be venturing into. Do not doubt, doubt the dream that is inside of you. It is not in vain. God has planted that dream. Make sure that you do not miss your midwife moment. Make sure that these prayers you don't miss, that you will give forth. It's not in vain. Hallelujah. You will rejoice in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree that the Lord has given you a new dawning. There's a dawning of goodness that has dawned for you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, this day I will magnify thee in the sight of Israel. This is what he said to Joshua, he says, I will magnify you in the sight of Israel. That means God will position you. God will make you shine. God will glorify you. God will make sure that your efforts are not in vain. Hallelujah. As I, I was with Moses, so shall I be with you. So if God can say to Joshua, if uh, if I was with Moses, I will be with you. That means I will be with you, Bushe. That is, means that I will be with you, Fedzi. It will mean that he is with you also, Mpote. God is with you. God is not going to forsake you. Whenever there's a transition, even on leadership, God is saying, as I honored your fathers, I will honor you. If I didn't even honor your fathers i will start with you you are the turning point hallelujah god is turning things around for you god says i will honor you and i will honor your children in the mighty name of jesus christ before you call i have already answered before you speak i've already granted that thing in the name of jesus christ not in vain hallelujah i want you to pray and command this week continue to command throughout the day command the things that you want to see effortlessly god is going to bring a freshness you will see the things that were not working where you did not see the freshness god is bringing a new freshness in the name of jesus christ god is going to bring light upon every situation right now receive that anointing the anointing not in vain anointing work for me the anointing of favor divine favor work for me in the mighty name of jesus christ father we command this morning to bring forth freshness we command this morning to bring forth grace fresh grace fresh mercy in the name of jesus christ we command the morning to light upon us with the fresh dew from heaven in the name of jesus christ father the sun shines on us in the name of jesus christ every single day of the week in the name of Jesus Christ and beyond. Psalm 84 verse 11 says, for the Lord God is a sun and a shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them who walk uprightly. So Lord, we declare that we are walking uprightly. No good thing will be withheld from us in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you have commanded, we receive Lord, you have released the abundance to us Lord in this day and beyond in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we command the day to release to us abundance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We take delivery of the message of the blessings that you have brought for us this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You said, Lord, we will, the people shall call 
they shall call the people unto the mountain that they shall offer sacrifices of righteousness for they shall suck of the abundance of the seas of the treasures hid in the sand that is Deuteronomy 33 verse 19 we are taking out every single abundance from the sea the mountain wherever it is locked up we are unlocking it and we are taking out the abundance of prosperity that God has in store for us we will suck out the abundance of the seas that means God is saying it will overflow so much that whatever as you can see you don't know where the sea starts and where it ends that is how I will bless you this week in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I wish you could shout a believing amen the blessing of favor the blessing of goodness the blessing of mercy in the name of Jesus it says surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of this week oh surely goodness and mercy will follow you all the days of this month beyond into June in the mighty name of Jesus Christ you will dwell in the house of the Lord and you will prosper the Lord is making the elements of nature co cooperate for you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ how am I doing for time Kalabasonda, the angels Kalabasota that rule the day will visit you with good news today in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and I declare that the angels will visit you today the angels will visit you today and execute whatever it is that is placed in your heart in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Holy Spirit I thank you Genesis 18 verse 9 to 10 is what God is bringing he says and they said unto him where is Sarah thy wife and he said behold in the tent and he said I will certainly return unto thee according to the time of life and lo Sarah thy wife had a son and Sarah had it in the tent door which was behind him hallelujah those of you who are believing God for fruit of the womb receive the fruit of the womb right now you will be bar you will not be barren in the name of Jesus Christ I said you will not be barren in the name of Jesus Christ receive that angelic visitation that will confirm your pregnancy those of you who are pregnant you will give birth without pain you will give birth um, uh, without any complication rather in the name of Jesus Christ there will be no complications you will bring forth your children in peace hallelujah in the name of Jesus Christ and they will bring you joy your offspring will bring you joy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Kalabasonda father we thank you we pray and Lord that we cause this morning and this whole week Lord that the heavens and earth will meet at, at, at that point goodness will be released overflow in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Megan you will testify JJ you will testify in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Mafusi you will testify in the mighty name of Jesus Christ you are receiving your steps are ordered by the Lord you will not miss your steps you will walk in the paths of righteousness you will walk in straight places God is making the crooked, crooked places to be straight for you Connie in the name of Jesus Christ goodness Thungwane, I pray for you you will testify in this week in the name of Jesus Christ keep on declaring not in vain not in vain let's release it again into the atmosphere let's release it again to the spirit realm not in vain in Jesus mighty name father we declare that the wind of heaven will blow in our direction they will blow abundance to us the winds of heaven are blowing abundance to all of us in the name of Jesus Christ this morning and beyond and this week will bring forth favor divine favor in the name of Jesus Ruby dawn in the name of Jesus feds the PK perfect it's not in vain in Jesus mighty name father we thank you lord we thank you we have received the rain of favor the rain of divine favor in jesus mighty name our efforts shall not be in vain in jesus mighty name holy spirit i thank you for honoring our meeting in jesus mighty name we do not take you for granted oh god lord as we continue into the week we will pray without ceasing in jesus mighty name i want to thank everybody on facebook and youtube thank you so much for joining us in the name of jesus christ those of you on tiktok thank you so much for waking up and taking your future and destiny seriously yesterday we were we were, we were um, talking with um other ministers that we we need to take our destiny seriously we need to take responsibility as you woke up and you stayed on this broadcast you took your own future into your own hands you are responsible you are not delegating prayer you are saying i will show up because my life matters hallelujah there comes a point when you say you know what enough i cannot be having the same prayer points of last year i need to have new fresh prayer points now i need to see goodness and mercy happening in my life so as you have taken that seriousness and you know that you are affirming who you are in christ that you know that you are going to activate what god has put inside of you that i honor you and i congratulate you that for so as you showed up this morning god is is releasing congratulations the angels that are releasing congratulations are coming forth to you in jesus mighty name god bless you vimbai and everybody on facebook hallelujah god bless you everybody let me see who else is here god bless you tobias god bless you everybody um okay this, this, it's scrolling so fast in jesus Jesus mighty name god bless you guys i love you guys thank you so much we'll see each other at 10 p.m with apostle mara tonight for the teaching hallelujah god bless you